There's a gal out west singing songs, and her name is Betsy Lee. She's a gal who is taking us to a ghost town jamboree. And the folks who will join us there are a ghostly bunch you'll see. Come on down, won't you join us now for a ghost town jamboree? Yeah, we'll say it for the music show and we'll hum all kinds of songs. Cause we'll find that a lot of music is from the spirit of a ghost town. And it all happens for a gal by the name of Betsy Lee. Come on down to a fun ghost town for a ghost town jamboree. Did anybody come up with anything? Not yet. I'm blank. Me neither. But we have to pronto. Our act needs a new song. I've got it! What do you got? A, a song. I'm just trying to contribute my bit. What kind of a song is it? Drum solo. I don't think so. What we need is something nice and mellow to follow the big opening. Guess that counts my song out. What's it about? Cattle rustling. <laughs> Can't you all give me some peace and quiet? I am trying to write. Peace and quiet? Go right up on top of Boot Hill. What are you writing about? Suzanne. Oh, no, not another love letter to that girl. No, this is a song about Suzanne. I call it Suzanne. Oh, brother, how original. Please, I can't concentrate. Now, why don't you go do something, like get the mail? I'm expecting a reply from her today. Why? She hasn't answered your last dozen letters. Today is different. I feel it. Like I feel the melody of this beautiful song. Now, will you please go get the mail? Wait a minute. Where are you two going? I think we better go get the mail. Both of us should before he gets violent. Very funny. Can't you see that I am trying to create a great new song here? I am trying to reach new heights of expression here. I am trying to act out this great devotion for the girl I love. Well, you're overacting. <laughs> you please go get my letter. Okay, 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 okay. I'll go check the mail. Now, you two just keep on writing. I'm counting on someone to come up with a new song. <laughs> In case love fails us. <laughs> Glory be, here's a letter for Sheriff Ricker. Wonder where that old ghost is hiding himself. Right behind you, Betsy Lee. <laughs> Holy cow, you startled me. How come you're lurking around invisible? I was waiting for the mail. Here's a letter for you. Terrific. Uh, couldn't you just wait for the mail carrier as your old visible self? Well, last time I did, that mail carrier didn't leave any mail. Well, how come? Well, he was running so fast, he couldn't reach the box. Oh. <laughs> I see. I'll pick up the mail from now on. Here's a letter for Jay. Oh, uh, pardon my asking, but I am pretty curious. Who writes to you anyway? Relatives? Well, I don't have any living relatives, as far as I know. Uh, you see, I'm doing a series of, of articles on the Old West for a magazine, and, and, and it says here that they're amazed. They're amazed by the authenticity of my stories. Oh. I should wonder. You were there. Yeah. And, and they're also amazed at my prolific output. They'd be more amazed if they knew the truth. I reckon so, but I, I don't have the heart to tell them that I'm my own uh, <clears throat> ghost writer. Oh, <laughs> you can say that again. Well, I don't have the heart to tell them okay. I'm my own. Well, you told me to say I it know. again. You know, I better get these letters over to the guys. Uh, Jay will be particularly interested. Oh. His is perfumed. Perfume? Smells like trouble to me. Oh, no, maybe he'll inspire Jay. He's trying to write a song about the girl he loves. Yep, he's in for trouble. Suzanne, 
Don't you know that I love you That I'm always thinking of you Do you love me too? This was his drugstore. And Dr. Ling, well, he goes back a long time before I ever came to Opus. Well, what was he like? Well, I guess he was many things to many people, but mostly he was the most respected man in Opus. I guess this goes here. Was he the town doctor? He sure was. He was a doctor of medicine, doctor of philosophy, doctor of law, doctor of physics, doctor of literature, and and he was the best darn horse doctor in the whole business. <laughs> doctor of music, too? Yeah, and he had a specialty all his own, Chinese Western. Oh. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Oh, oh no, uh, you, you want to go in there? No, why, why, nobody's been in that drugstore in over 100 years. Well, I'm not scared. Are you? Well, I'm not scared of anything, except ghosts. What do you mean? You're a ghost. Sure, but I don't like them, and I, I don't want you to join them. <laughs> You know, as I recall it, Dr. Ling just, just up and left town one day and never to be seen again. And I'd hate for you to be next. Oh. Why do you suppose Dr. Ling left? Well, folks in this town figure that he aimed to get another doctorate degree. But it beats me what, what he could have missed. <laughs> he had them all. And it looks like this shop hasn't been touched. Yeah, everybody figured he might come back one day, so it was just left, as is. Well, we'll keep it this way, too. You never know. He may turn up yet. Oh, you mean as a ghost? Well, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm living proof that it can happen. Uh, sort of. Oh, I'll bet everyone missed him all these years. Oh, I'll say. I'll say. He, he could help you with any kind of problem. You know... Folks were in here visiting him all the time. People would say, uh, just ring for Dr. Ling. Now, way out west where you find the best and the worst of anything. yippee ki -oh, and hoop on the A, listen to this cowboy sing. Smartest man in this whole land, there's no sense arguing. yippee ki -oh, and hoop on the A was a man called Dr. Ling. From Abilene to the borderline, his fame was so widespread. Yippee ki -oh, and hoop on the A, up, that's what I said. Inside the door of his old drugstore, a sign hung overhead. Yippee ki -oh, and hoop on the A, and this is what it said. Just give a ring for oh, Dr. Link. He's at his best when you put him to the test, he can cure most anything. Just give a ring for oh, Dr. Link. He can fix all your troubles or he won't charge you a thing. 
If you saw double, you love it, give you trouble, or you need a magic trick or two. If you kayo and hoop on the air, what I'm saying is true. If your hat was too tall, your boots too small, he'd know what's right for you. If you kayo and hoop on the air, all you had to do, just give a ring for Dr. Link. He's at his best when you put him to the test, he can do most anything. Just give a ring for Dr. Link. He can fix all your troubles or he won't charge you a thing. Not a red cent. Is that all you need to do? Just ring. For Dr. Ling. Oh. <laughs> too bad. I guess the doctor isn't in. <laughs> Let me at it. What's your hurry? I am expecting a very important letter, if you know what I mean. Only one? <laughs> Heck, I'll settle for any letter I can get. The man has no taste. <laughs> First off, here's a letter for Jay. Perfumed. <gasps> and a letter for Danny. Perfumed. Ooh. Ooh. And another letter for Danny. Perfumed. Hey, when's it gonna be my turn to be made fun of? Well, let's see. Here's a letter for Danny. Perfumed. Naturally. Holy cow! And another letter for Danny. Perfumed? Yep. <laughs> well, gosh darn it, there's just gotta be a girlfriend in there for me somewhere. Oh, oh sorry, Nichols. There's just one more, and it's for Danny. Perfumed. Don't so. tell me. <laughs> Just sniff them and weep, boys. <laughs> sniff them and weep. Very funny. <laughs> oh, now we know why yours was perfumed, Jay. It was in the same box with all of mine. <laughs> How does he get all the girls? Talent, boys, talent. Plus charm, good looks, and a sense of humor. All kinds of women respond to those ingredients. Well, what kind of girls respond to... Cute drummers. <laughs> you just may be out of luck, Nichols, because all of these women like piano players. Or maybe I should change instruments. Don't let him get you down. It's not quantity that matters. It's quality. Now, have I told you about the most wonderful girl in the world, Suzanne? Oh, maybe once or twice. Well, can I tell you again? Uh, how about after rehearsal? Our act needs a new song, like maybe a, a love song. I've got one. But it really ought to say something about love. I've got one. Oh, well, let me see what you got. Suzanne, man, are you ever hooked? Huh, look who's talking. What nonsense. I just don't let it go to my head. Who's he kidding? Uh, uh, can I see your song, Jane? But it has to be good material. This is good material. It's the best song I've ever written. There, you see? We ought to give it a chance. It could be a hit song. Sure. Let's play it right now. Oh, it'll be better if we hear it after we do the opening number. Oh, you mean until we're in the uh, right frame of mind. Well, let's get at it, guys. <laughs> Sunday too, singing on my mind. But Monday morning, break of day, it's back to that old grind. Blackwood, he can surely crow. Sparrow, why can you? If I open my beak that wide, it only break in two. Singing up a storm. Band and raise a hullabaloo Singing up a storm It's pain to see We're a shorn of red hot rambling jamboree Whitening is a pretty girl Her hair's a fluffy cloud And thunder is an old grim man He shook and howled loud Chases that girl all through the sky 
it really makes you wonder He gets so mad he jumps up and down And that's what makes it thunder Singing up a storm, that's what I do I travel this land in a country band And raise a hullabaloo in their seats. It'll raise the dust, all right. It'll bring the house down. She's gone. Now I can really be alone forever. I am not gonna write or sing or play again. Here I am. How may I serve you? Wait a minute. Who are you? I've never seen you around Opus before. Maybe it is I who have never seen you around Opus. <laughs> You're right. It is all relative, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. But the way I feel today, I guess you shouldn't have to put up with me. I'll just get out of here. No, 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 no. Hold your horses. <laughs> Tea first. Tea. Say, hey, where'd that come from? Perhaps you were expected. Well, I don't see how, but who's looking at you? <laughs> By the way, uh, I'm Jay. Dr. Ling. Tsuni Chim come. Good health. How's about a fortune cookie? Sure. You play a real mean guitar. <laughs> Real hot stuff. Yeah, well, not anymore. I quit for good. Oh, too bad. What was her name? Suzanne. Huh? How'd you know I quit over a girl? <laughs> Love can be kept a secret, but heartbreak is public property. May I offer some advice? No, thanks. All right. I'd rather be miserable. Okay. Then eat your cookie. When life hands you a lemon, make lemonade. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a lot of truth in that. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? That usually whatever comes out of fortune cookie sounds profound. <laughs> yeah, what, what is it, Confucius? Ling. <laughs> gotcha. More tea? Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm feeling better. Hmm. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> it is human nature to turn adversity to advantage. Well, that sounds impossible. Allow me to demonstrate. By your symptoms and your long drawn face, yours is not a very special case. It seems to activate a memory A very strange thing once happened to me Once I tried to make a magic brew For a lady who was well to do Put it in a pot to boil a lot The dark stuff turned to glue But I never gave up, I never gave in I just picked myself up and started over again I never got discouraged or ever let my spirits drag I just sing another chorus of the take advantage rag Take advantage before it takes it of you Take advantage, hurry, there's no time to be blue There's an opportunity in every snag Just remember the take advantage rag I had a patient who took sick one day She had a tummy ache that wouldn't go away Prescribed a corset from the general store That girls in bed 
better shape now than she was before. But let's get back to that sticky glue. It made a fortune for me, yes, it's true. I'm telling you, I bottled that brew and sold it as shampoo. <laughs> but I never gave up, I never gave in. I just picked myself up and started over again. I never got the courage or ever let my spirits drag. I just sing another chorus of the take advantage rag. Take advantage before it takes it of you. in some advice after all. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you do not want advice. I just served tea and a couple of cookies I had kicking around. But I got a good idea anyway. It is your doing completely. What I need is a pencil. Pencil, pencil. Hey, Dr. Ling, do you happen to have a where'd he go? He vanished like he was a ghost or something. Oh, here's one. Oh, my gosh. He was a ghost. There's a gal out west singing songs and her name is Betsy Lee. She's a gal who is taking us to a ghost town jamboree. And the folks We'll join us there, are a ghostly bunch you'll see. Come on down, won't you join us now for a ghost town jamboree? Yeah, we'll stay for the music show and we'll hum all kinds of songs. Cause we'll find that a lot of music is from the spirit of a ghost town. And it all happens for a gal by the name of Betsy Lee. Come on down to a fun ghost town. 